Hi everybody, it's Juanita McDowell with the Real Estate Technology Institute. I'd like to welcome you to our webinar, Why Every Agent Needs a CRM. And I have a special guest here who I've invited to this webinar. His name is Quinn Leach and he's from Realty Juggler. Hi Quinn, how are you? Hi. And oh, thank good. You. Thank you for agreeing to talk to us today about CRMs and one thing that we want to do here at the Real Estate Technology Institute is educate agents on how to better manage and market their business and of course using technology to do that. So I think this is definitely an appropriate topic, topic for our audience. But I never assume that everybody is on the same, um, have, has the same level of understanding. So I want to kick this thing off by making sure everybody understands what a CRM in basic terms. And then what I want to do is ask you some critical questions because I think that the majority of the people listening to this call, they probably know what a CRM is, but they're so confused about which CRM, what determines which way I go, which direction. And there's lots of questions that, that I think I can ask you um, and you can answer them and give them a better understanding of uh, what they need to consider when they're picking a CRM. So let's get started with that. First of all, for everyone who's not familiar with the CRM, CRM stands for Customer Relationship Management. And basically, at the end of the day, you're a business owner and you need to manage your contacts, you need to manage your tasks, your projects. You've got to keep track of your, of your client base. And a lot of people just depend on Excel and, and, and their phone. Um, you know, it, these are not good systems if you're really trying to measure your performance and you're also trying to stay in touch with your audience. So that's why we want to definitely look at using a CRM. And what I want you to do, Quinn, is add to what I just uh, defined and, and give it maybe a little bit more clarity or anything else you want to add to, you know, what is a CRM and what is it for? Okay. Well, uh, I think you've hit the nail on the head. Uh, if I was going to add anything, I would just simply reinforce that if you're looking to keep in touch with your clients and follow up with them, both uh, for prospects that you're marketing to as well as uh, people that you've had deals with in the past. I mean, hopefully a lot of your business is going to be coming from referrals. So the customer relationship management isn't just for leads, it's also for the people that you've been in touch with for years. Right, absolutely. So now here's the question. If I were a real estate agent and CRMs are brand new to me, my big question is, okay, which direction do I go? I, I get it. I need to Stay, keep track of a lead. Let's say I meet someone at the chamber and they say, hey, you know, Juanita, you're an agent. I want to uh, definitely stay in touch with you. I'm looking to move in six months, but maybe it might be a year. So I get that I need something to help me stay in touch with that client. I want a little bit more automation in my business, but what do I do? I, I hear there are like 50 options on the market. What should I be asking? What questions should I be asking? What should I be doing in terms of shopping and looking for CRM? And budget, let's say, is no consideration, and then I want you to answer it where budget is very much a consideration. Okay. Well, the biggest thing is, is that um, as you meet people, um, hopefully you're putting those leads directly into your phone, into your contact list. So you're getting a phone number and maybe an email address to go with that name. Um, and then hopefully whatever CRM you choose is going to tie the contact you put into your phone to your CRM so that you can follow up with later and do that kind of marketing you're talking about. So whether it's a, a drip sequence or a, a 33 touch sequence where you've got a plan that you're going to market to them over the six months or a year that you're talking about. Okay. Um, and the other thing I think I would really say is that I mean, those kinds of features are in any generic CRM, but then as a real estate agent, I would also look for features that serve you as an agent. So most generic CRMs um, aren't going to have anything that's going to help you with deal tracking, for example. And that's why, even if you didn't choose Realty Juggler, I would encourage any agent to choose a real estate CRM versus one that isn't customized for an agent's needs. Hmm, I like it. Okay, let me ask you... Um, there's a couple of questions that I get um, from agents. In fact, I just finished teaching a connecting to your database class where I was in, encouraging the class to use a CRM. And some of the feedback was it's way too complicated and I just, you know, I don't understand it. I've used this, this particular, and I won't mention the names, but I've used this particular platform before 
was supposedly built for agents, but I can't seem to understand the platform well enough to use it. So what, just speak a little bit about complication, you know, like, and how do you know it's going to be complicated when you first look at a potential piece of software that could be used for a CRM? Well, everybody has a different comfort level with learning new software, and so no matter what new CRM that you pick up, there's going to be a learning curve. And the question is, is that when you try a CRM, and hopefully you're trying them out that have free trials, mm. uh, that you find one that uh, that's easy for you to navigate. I mean, we do our best to make it really easy to navigate around and really juggler, but really it's going to be whatever is working for you because if you don't log in and use it, it's not going to do you any good. It's like a gym membership. Absolutely, and that is so important. You know, I, I, I'm not saying this is just uh, agents. Certainly quite a few business owners will buy software and they just they won't use it, but that's the key part too. Log in and get to know it, use it so you're comfortable with it. So as far as um, the training, how long do you think, what do you think the average learning curve is for using a CRM, just in general? It's going to vary very greatly. Now, depending on the CRM, some uh, some CRMs have a, a, a long training period. They even have uh, special classes and so forth. Right. And uh, for us, what we do is we have a ton of tutorial videos that makes it really easy to see how to do individual things. And then we offer one hour, you know, half hour, hour long sessions uh, for free training over the phone. Um, but usually, if somebody's interested in using a CRM, if you're not able to pick it up fairly quickly, then it's probably not the right one for you. Mm. Um, it's one of those things where the tool is supposed to make your, your life a little easier, not harder. So hopefully, the learning curve isn't going to be too sharp for you, and hopefully, whatever CRM you choose has the tools you need to get get started. Okay. Whether it's videos or, or, or tech support or any other kind of online help. So that's something that someone should be you know, looking for when they're considering a CRM, for sure. Oh, absolutely. Talk a little bit about how important is it that the CRM is mobile friendly? I think it's really important. Um, like, for example, the way we handle it, we do it two ways, is that we will synchronize with your uh, your email account on your phone, so therefore when you put that contact in, that it, through synchronization it can go into your account. But then also you can run uh, Realty Juggler directly on your phone or tablet or really any, any computer or device. Hmm. And so I think it's very important that whatever CRM you choose is able to run on whatever device you happen to be in front of at the time, um, simply because it'll, it'll give you more access to it and you're more likely to use it. Absolutely. That's a, most of the time people have their phones with them. So sure. the other question I get a lot is as far as the CRM and different integrations and, you know, the CRM working with other, say, real estate applications. Talk to me a little bit about that and also how Real, Realty Juggler works with other uh, applications. Okay. Well, you were asking earlier about price, uh, whether, you know, a higher price product versus a lower price product and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. uh, Realty mm -hmm. Juggler integrates with uh, basically any, anything that collects a lead and sends you a lead via email, as well as services such as Zillow through Tech Connect. You can pick Realty Juggler off the list. Um, but really, the way Realty Juggler works, because there isn't anything that's client-facing, um, there aren't that many as many integrations as you would think, so it's easier to set up. Okay. Um, but it just depends on what you're looking for in your CRM. So there are some products out there that have a lot of client-facing things and a tight integration for that, um, but those tend to be more expensive products. Right. Um, but uh, for Realty Juggler, Really, all of your web pages, all of your you know, lead aggregation type things can all feed into Realty Juggler, and Realty Juggler can act as your lead aggregator. Okay. Now, what about CRMs and templates and as far as having ready-made templates? Um, I know one of the things that I've been teaching this year is automation, delegation, outsourcing. I mean, just because I know how to do a flyer or a postcard doesn't mean I need to do it. And uh, sure. as far as the CRM providing those, how important is that? And does Realty Juggler have any templates that realtors can use? Yeah, and that's another reason to pick a real estate CRM versus non-real estate CRM. Realty Juggler, we have uh, 101 different flyer templates, and we have hundreds of letters organized 
mostly into sequences that you can send to a particular buyer prospect or a listing leader or, or something like that. But uh, but really, that's a, a big strength of a real estate-based CRM is, is that you should see a lot of templates. We have actually two large manuals of, of letters, but it's really as easy as, as applying either what we've got built in or taking what we've got and customizing it or even building your own, um, even using some of the letters that we've got. And so in addition to that, okay. um, we've got uh, e-card templates as well. So if you're looking for something simple to send for holidays or uh, like a clothing anniversary or a birthday or a regular anniversary, we, we've got those. Oh, excellent. Now, let's, yeah. let's put two things together. Earlier you talked about drip campaigns, and then now you're talking about templates. And there are probably some agents that are on this webinar that are not familiar with drip campaigns. And I want you to talk a little bit about, one, explain what that means, and then put the, the okay. templates and that together and how that could work for a real estate agent. Okay. Well, uh, if you think about sending out a letter to a large number of people all at once, that would be a bulk email. And that would be just a single template that you would send. Uh, a drip sequence would be a series of templated letters that would fill in the client's either name or names, if it's a, a wife and a husband, for example, uh, and then send it to them automatically over time. And also, a part of drip sequences typically is that you're also going to have tasks that you're going to be doing as part of that. So, for example, mm -hmm. if you were going to send a couple of, of drip letters, then maybe every third thing you do is going to be some form of contact, whether it's a phone call or drop by or whatever it is that you do, is you're, you should be prompted for a tap to make that phone call. Um, and you can do it without. You can have a, a sequence of letters that are sent over time, you know, and we've got those. Uh, but then if you've got a special way that you market, then your CRM should accommodate that. And, and that's why I was talking earlier about the ability to customize things and right. make it your own. Absolutely. So now let's talk about the financial ROI because, well, let's just talk finances and in terms of uh, what what is the benefit financially to using a CRM. So right now, let's say I'm, I'm using my phone for contacts. That's it. And it's not costing me anything. Now you want Let's, we're now currently exploring using a CRM, which is going to have a monthly or yearly price tag associated with it. Sure. Let's talk about all the benefits, though, and how this could actually, you know, actually affect our bottom line. I think that's what it really comes down to when people are really looking at, you know, why, the big why, and talk about, like, why in terms of now you're more organized, and now our contacts were were staying in touch. And let's just talk about a little bit, a little about that, because I will tell you, in 1991, and I share this class, uh, this story in class. I purchased my first home, and I had a wonderful Quinn. When I tell you, she was an awesome agent. Now, in 2006, I was looking to be that move-up buyer. And I was excited because I'm like, yes, it's time to build my dream home or buy my dream home. And my husband and I spent days, days looking for the agent that closed us in 1991, and we couldn't find her. And my thought was, okay, well, there's a big, you know, slob between 1991 and 2006, but still, you know, she left a lot of money on the table, not just because of that transaction, but because I later became a loan officer with a you know, very significant practice, and because she didn't stay in touch, she lost not only that one deal, she also lost all the potential deals and recommendations that I could have made to her. So I want sure. us to talk a little bit about the ROI. That, that's, the, that's the key, um, is understanding there is that benefit to using a CRM that affects your bottom line. And I'll let you speak, and I want to add to that as well. Okay. Well, from our end, you know, we're providing a service, and like I mentioned earlier, the idea of a gym membership is there are people that go to a gym and they get tons of benefit from it, and then there are other people that uh, sign up for it and never use it and get zero benefit from it. So, yeah, so the benefit is really going to be up to the individual agent. Right. Um, we try to make it as easy as possible to make those follow-up calls and to stay connected to the people you want to stay connected to. But you really got to put a little bit of work in to make it work. And for example, your, your agent 
if, if she had just simply you know, sent you even a Christmas card every year, then you'd have her contact info. And it made it, you know, kind of reminding you that, hey, she's an agent and that she's always looking for referrals, that kind of thing. If she had done even that minimum amount of work, then uh, you, she would have gotten your business the next time you went to buy a house. Right. But, uh, but if she had made some phone calls and found out that you were a loan officer, then she would have also gotten any business that you could have referred to her right. as well. Right. So, so really, any CRM should make it really easy for you to have a daily call list and for you to quickly go through it and make those calls. I mean, any, any trainer will recommend that you make a certain minimum number of calls a, calls a day if you want to increase the amount of money that you're making. And so for a lot of agents, the cost of the CRM, really, it could be very high if you're really effectively using it. But if you're not effectively using a CRM, then you know, there, any price you pay is going to be too much. Right, right, right. You're not going to use it. Well, exactly. one of one of the stats out there is that 86% of consumers who use realtors, and I'm, I'm going by, you know, these are national studies, 86% of consumers who use their realtor a first time, and they like the realtor. However, they're not using that realtor a second time. And whenever I share that number, because that's a big number, 86%, the question is why? there's always a student raises their hand and says, well, that's because we're not staying in touch. And so they admit they're not staying in touch. And it's hard to. Sure. So you have to have that tool in place that's going to enable you to stay in touch with, you know, your previous clients. And then real estate is one of those professions where you have what I call the not ready yet. And that is, and back when I originated loans, that was a huge part of my pipeline. I understood the value of the not ready yet which means they're eventually going to be ready, and when they are, I want them to use me. But my question is always in class, if you're not staying in touch, even if you're not dripping on them, you know, at some, you know, consistent level, how are they going to remember you? They're going to go to someone else at the time they're ready, and then they're going to use that person. So there's a lot of value there that I think is appropriate and, and important for agents to realize. So what other things... Um, do you want to add or do you want to share about uh, using the CRM, um, Quinn, in the context of real estate agents that I may have missed that I haven't asked? Well, I mean, the follow-up stuff you can do from any CRM, um, and so it doesn't need to be real estate specific. Um, obviously, having templates and stuff like that does make it real estate specific, but I think even more, a good CRM should help you to keep track of and keep on top of not only the people that you're keeping in touch with, either pre or post sale, but also keeping in touch with the clients you're currently working with. And so mm -hmm. for, for example, in Realty Juggler, you can keep track of your active buyers, the people you're actively showing homes to. You can keep track of your listing. Um, you can keep track of your deals and, and even keep on top of your income and projected income. And I think mm -hmm. those are kind of the icing on the cake, sure. Uh, but I think it really helps to not have to use a bunch of different software to get there. So right. We do quite a bit of what most agents are going to need, and so it can be a, a, almost a one-stop shop for, for taking care of a lot of what you're, what you're doing daily. Right. Would you like to show us some of uh, how your platform looks, how it feels, or just some features of it? Sure. Um, what, if you want to toggle over to my screen, um, I've got a screen open Okay. Here. I'm going to go ahead and make you the presenter. So what we're showing here on the screen right now is the main screen of Realty Juggler when you log in. And as you can see, it's just a simple grid of icons. And the whole purpose of that is, like we were talking about earlier, is how are you using Realty Juggler and where would you be using your CRM? And the same grid of icons will appear whether you're on a tablet, on a desktop, or even on your phone. And so it makes it really easy hmm. to to use it, no matter where you go, you have that consistent interface. There are a lot of other programs where the mobile interface is completely different than you're going to see on your desktop. And you know, who needs to learn extra things? So we try to make it really easy that way. Uh, another thing that we do that's different than some CRMs is that we do have a contacts database as well as a prospects database. And the idea is simply that if you're marketing to strangers or if you've got a, uh, a neighborhood that you're marketing to, put them in prospects, and they can be developed and turn into either, you know, deal records or move them to contacts when you're ready when, when they know you better. The idea being strangers, 
10 people that know you, that would, that would know who you are when you, you called them on the phone. I was talking about deal tracking, uh, keeping track of your buyer's listings and, of course, the eventual closing. Uh, keeping on top of the tasks you're going to have signed to your contacts. I love that. Any calendar items? Yeah. Um, and we've talked about the flyers. Um, let's just go to the screen. Oh, wow. But we really do have 101 different flyer templates. I hope this isn't scrolling too fast for No, me. you're not. Perfect. Okay. But I already done for you. <laughs> you just plug yeah, in your, your face and your, your information. It is, yeah, and really all it, all it is is that they're in Adobe Reader format. You can pop them open, open them with Adobe Reader, click to add your own pictures, type to add your own text, and you've mm. got a completed flyer. So it makes it pretty easy to get a flyer ready, and the, the nice thing is is that you can take that flyer and then turn it into an image and then embed that into an email, for example. Like if you wanted to invite a bunch of people to an open house and use that flyer in the body of your email, you can. Wow. The nice thing that you can do with that or, or, or things like that is, of course, embed any pictures and what whatnot you want that you want into your into your emails and your other marketing. But let's go to mail because we were talking about um, drip sequences and so forth. Here at the bottom of the screen is, are our manuals. And these are also just PDFs that you can open up. And it's got a great table of contents. And... A ton of letters. Oh wow! It's rolling too slowly here, uh, but but there are literally hundreds of pages of letters organized into sequences. Love it. So it makes it pretty easy to either uh, use it as a starter seed to make your own sequences, or to um, to just use directly the way they are. Very nice. Um, yeah. So what what would you like to see? Because I can show you really anything. Well, uh, real quick, show us. Uh, you said there was training videos or for for people that are there looking. Are. To... Yeah. So here at the bottom of the screen, in the second oh. column, there's a training tutorial link, and as you can see, there's a ton Whoa. of videos. Okay. Uh, and don't let it daunt you because you can either look at it by you know. If you're getting started, which ones do you watch to get started? Sure. Or if you're looking on sending an email, what videos are available for that? The nice thing is, is that when you hover over one of our videos, it's going to show you what you're going to learn if you watch that video. So you don't have to watch the entire video to to, to know it's like, oh, is this mm -hmm. video going to answer my questions? Excellent. But I think even even better than videos, I think that's a, a key thing to have. But then it's also easy to contact your CRM. So if you have a CRM that doesn't answer the phone, then you're probably not with the right CRM. And Whoa. so there's always our phone number available, and it's easy to, easy to call us. Or if you wanted to ask a question via email, we can you can do that too. I love it. Very very key is you can get someone on the phone and ask a question, especially if this is relatively new to you. Sure. Excellent. So well, I should probably ask the question that everybody is, is, is asking is in terms of if, if Realty Juggler is a CRM that someone's considering, especially after this webinar, what is the cost to, to, uh, to use the platform? Realty Juggler is $99 a year. And so if you're back on the Realty Juggler screen, there's an easy way to click for a 90-day free trial. Oh, okay. And it really is just $99 a year. Oh, wow. That's awesome. Okay, so Quinn, I have to tell you that this has been great in terms of, I think, educating people about CRMs and getting to see an example of a, a platform like Realty Juggler. And I have to confess that the reason that I want to talk to you really is because I've heard really great things about Realty Juggler in terms of its ease of use and its clients, uh, customer support. Uh, those are the kind of things that agents use because they just don't have a lot of time. You know, they need simplicity in a way that helps them still accomplish what they're trying to accomplish, um, and yet something that doesn't just quite frankly stress you out because <laughs> you're you're trying to figure out how to use it. So that is actually one of the reasons that I actually uh, wanted to talk to you um, about CRMs and, of course, your platform. And 
I, unless there's more that you want to share, I, I have to tell you, I want to thank you for taking the time out to talk to us today. And um, hopefully people have um, learned about CRMs as well as Realty Juggler. Now, is there a way that if potentials want to ask questions after this webinar, is there a way for them to contact someone on your team or send an email to someone on your team? And maybe I can be the gathering point for all the questions that will come after this webinar. And can I send those to you? Yeah, so you can do one of two things. You can either uh, use the phone number and give us a call, and okay. we'll be happy to answer questions. You can email me directly. My email address is really easy. It's just Q, the letter Q, at realtyjuggler.com. Okay. And so if you wanted to direct something to me, me personally, I, I would just send me an email, and I'll answer all your emails. Wow. All right. Super duper. Thank you so much for joining us. And right now we are, uh, as you can see, we've pre-recorded this webinar, but I'm going to open it up for questions for anyone who's attending live. Um, and I will definitely get your questions. If I can't answer the question, I'll definitely uh, get all of your questions to Quinn um, by the end of the day. So thank you for watching, and I'll just take all your questions right now. Great. Well, thank you for having me. It's, it's been a pleasure. Uh, you're welcome.